and welcome to my Disneyland Paris vlog. We arrived yesterday and we are staying in the Marvel Hotel so today is day one and we are going to go into the main Disney park. Here at Disneyland Paris there are two parks, the Studios Park and the main Disneyland Park which is the one with the castle that everyone's probably seen on pictures. As I said we are staying in the Marvel Hotel so I will make sure to include a room tour for you. Another factor to consider for me when I'm traveling to Disneyland is the fact that I'm disabled. So I'm just gonna talk you through the Disneyland Priority Pass. This is the Priority Card. You can get this with certain disabilities and you can find out more details about that on the Disneyland website. You can apply from a month up to right before you arrive online and then you just need to bring the proof of your disability that they request on the website. You pick up this card. So how this works is that every ride has a disability access that's different to the main access. And you go in and it is generally a much shorter queue and they get you on the ride much quicker. The different passes have different colours on them depending on what your needs are, like whether you can transfer to a ride, whether you can walk up steps. And so the guys on the gates at the Disney attractions, they can tell whether you're gonna be able to cope with that ride and what support you might need on that ride. These also work for the shows and for the character meet and greets. There's a disabled area for all the parades and for the fireworks that you can use. And for meet and greets, you can go up to the guys that are organizing the meet and greet, show them your card, and they'll tell you when to come back so that you haven't got to queue to meet the characters. That's really great. I think that's really helpful. This morning, we got up super early because we had booked a Disney Marvel Hotel exclusive attraction, which is the superhero station. And we met a superhero, we actually met Loki. You don't know who you're gonna meet until you get there, but we met Loki and got our photo taken with him, which I'm gonna put up here now. And we also got to have our photos taken and a bunch of different superhero backgrounds, like Spider-Man, like Iron Man. So that was really, really fun. And I also wanted to mention, in case you hadn't seen my short, that I got this especially for the trip. This is my new lounge fly bag. I've wanted a lounge fly for probably about a year. and have been waiting for the right one. And this is a Dumbo lounge fly, which is great because my grand's favorite character was Dumbo and she is no longer with us. And I loved her a lot. So it's really great to have something that reminds me of her. She loved Disney. And it also says, don't just fly sore on the back, which I think is really cute. It has some really great detailing. Like it has this, little um, feather, like the feather that Dumbo blows. One of the things that's really precious about Disneyland for me is that my gran, who was really supportive of me when I was little and growing up, and she died about seven years ago now, loved Disney and used to go to Disneyland and tell me about it when I was little. So, and I actually came to Disneyland Paris with her probably about 15 years ago. And so whenever I go on the Dumbo ride here, it makes me think of my gran and that makes the trip here extra special. First we went on It's a Small World, which is best described as like a fever dream, very surreal and a little bit confusing. Then the Dream and Shine Brighter show, created especially for the Disneyland Paris 30th anniversary celebrations. While we watched, I ate a Mickey shaped meringue, which was absolutely delicious. Then we went on Phantom Manor, which is one of my favorite rides and also one of the original Disneyland Paris rides. This is Dumbo, so I'm taking a flight for my gran. And who doesn't love the carousel? I am so excited to be staying in the Marvel Hotel as a big Marvel fan, so I need to give you a room tour. Come this way. We are staying in a standard room so that has got two double beds and it also has uh, Marvel artwork on the walls. Got Black Panther over here and we have got Miss Marvel over there. Pretty standard hotel stuff, you know, desk, mirror, coffee stuff. But I really like the theming of the chairs and the pillow is like a skyscrape, very Marvel. And this is a really nice touch. It looks like it's just a mirror over the sort of desk area, but it's actually a hidden TV, which I just think is really cool because you can 
stream from your Disney Plus account. You can just sign into your Disney Plus account and stream it to the TV. So that's really great for me. The bathroom is pretty standard bathroom. There's not a lot of theming in here. You've got a shower, sink area. It's nice enough, but it's nothing special. But one thing I did really like, if you come in a bit closer, is uh, this Avengers soap that I found. This is Pirates of the Caribbean. Fun fact, the ride came before the movie, opening in 1992 and also an original ride at Disneyland Paris. The teacups, I love to spin. This is the dragon under the castle that I have decided is Maleficent with absolutely no evidence to support that claim. These cool spinning decorations were all around the castle part of the park. And the parade. We watched from a special accessible area which made it totally manageable and wasn't too crowded at all. Hello, it is half past eight on Saturday and we have had a very intense, very hot day. It got up as high as 30 degrees this afternoon here in France and I didn't love that and it got a bit much. But we also did lots of really fun stuff. Whew, what did we do? We went on lots of rides and we saw the parade and we did some shopping. I bought a new Dumbo toy. So cute. Matches with my Dumbo bag. Love it. It's really, really soft as well. So it's going to be really nice for cuddling if I'm feeling anxious and I need to cuddle something. We are back at the hotel to pick up some warm clothes because at night at Disneyland Paris, it is fireworks and laser show. Laser? I don't know, like projections on the castle and fireworks and there's a drone show and it's phenomenal to Disney music. It's like a whole amazing, amazing thing. Maybe I'll be able to get a bit of footage and I can just show you a little bit, but obviously seeing it in person it is just, we, I've seen it twice now because this is my third visit here in three years. I may have got a little bit obsessed with coming to Disneyland and it just blows me away. I absolutely love it. So yeah, I'm going to get dressed in some warm clothes and head out. One thing I did want to say though is Starting the day at eight in the morning and finishing it at like half 11 at night is not typical for me and is not something I'm normally capable of doing as a disabled person because I have a fatigue condition and I get really, really tired. And someone watching this might say, oh, but look, you can do that. So understand the preparation that goes into being able to come and do something like this, the amount of rest that goes into pre and post doing something like this and the fact that I do feel more unwell than usual I'm just pushing through because I think sometimes it is worth it when you're doing something that you really, really want to do that you're going to carry with you into future months that is going to help you cope with the grind of general living as a disabled person. So, yeah. This is Avengers Power the Night in the Studios Park. The hammer is made up of drones. They are controlled by a computer, but also send signals to each other of where to move so that they don't hit each other. Behaving like a swarm of bees. How cool is that? Then we rushed over to the main park for Disney Dreams nighttime extravaganza at the castle, in which Peter Pan's shadow leads through lots of my favorite Disney characters and stories. And yes, I was singing and crying. I love this show. morning it is quarter to 11 on Sunday and we had a very very late night last night I think we got back to the hotel about midnight which for me is practically unheard of but it was a hundred percent worth it it was it was so beautiful that I may have cried a little bit it was just I can't even explain it that's I'm lost for words it was fantastic so not very much sleep because then then I woke up at about quarter past half past six this morning. So that is not as much sleep as I would like to have 
particularly given that I've got another full day today. But we did then go down to the hotel breakfast, which has fortified me somewhat because they had they had waffles with the Marvel symbol stamped on them because we we're in the Marvel hotel and they had pancakes and they had maple syrup and they had cinnamon that you could sprinkle on it. Mm, very nice, very nice. And I had some cheese and I had some bread. Basically, I ate a lot of breakfast. So that's going to get me through because now we are going to go to the studios park which is the other disney park everyone knows the main one with the castle but there is a smaller studios park which is themed around things like pixar and there's now a new marvel campus there with two new marvel rides and also i think periodically during the day the marvel characters come out and do like little bits so we are very excited about that and that is the plan for today In the Marvel campus, the characters come out very often and do short shows. This is Black Widow fighting some bad guys. Then later, Spider-Man appeared and was just hanging out. Here is the area where the Ratatouille ride is. It's French themed and there's a food market which is good for lunch options. But we got hot dogs from Fantastic Food Truck in the Marvel campus and saw Loki at the end of his meet and greet. We also saw Captain Marvel and some Wakanda warriors. This is Cars Road Trip. And then we went on the Spider-Man web adventure. It was really funny seeing Tom Holland dubbed into French. Then I had to do some shopping in the Marvel shop and I got this Stark Industries sweatshirt. I saw Gamora and Star-Lord in a really fun dance battle. Then headed back to the main park for a few more rides on my favourite ride in the park, Big Thunder Mountain. And a little more shopping. Hey, it is... 10 p.m. on Sunday, so it is our last night in the hotel, and uh, mostly the holiday is over. But we aren't actually leaving until about two o'clock tomorrow, and we do still have park tickets, so we will be going back into the main park. Today, we spent the whole day pretty much in the studio park, it was just overall a beautiful day, lovely had a great time and then we did a little bit of shopping so I bought a couple of things so I thought I'd show you so obviously I'd already bought the Dumbo plushie which I showed you I think in an earlier vlog um, I also bought I collect Pandora charms I've been collecting them now for probably about gosh quite a long time maybe seven or eight years um, but this bracelet that I'm wearing right now is exclusively Disney charms and I swap around so I've got five or six Disney charms on at a time and I collect the Disney charms to go on it and I got this which is focus on it yeah that is Stitch climbing the Tower of Terror like he is King Kong the Tower of Terror is a ride here in the studios park where you go up in a lift and drop a lot I didn't go on it today but I have been on it in the past and I think that's adorable and then when we were in the new Avengers campus section of the studios park which is one of the main reasons that we came this year because we really love Marvel I got this sweatshirt it's a gray sweatshirt and it says Stark Industries science and technology intern and then at the bottom it says web paris workshop so it's a disneyland paris exclusive which means that you can't get it anywhere else so i was really pleased to get that and that's going to be really snuggly i got it in a really large size i got it in extra large because i really like my clothes to be very baggy and comfortable so it's late now we're packing so that we can get up early in the morning and get into the park for half past eight because if you're staying in a Disneyland hotel then you get an extra hour in the park from half eight till half nine before anybody else gets in so we want to get into the park for that tomorrow morning so I'm going to go now and I'm going to go to bed I will probably not talk to camera again I might not I might not so this might be the end if it is I hope that you've enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like the video. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. 
I am an autistic disabled creator talking about those things but also just my life generally and vlogging and stuff like that and um, I will see you next time. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.